Hey Mycroft. What is time? Twelve thirty-seven. Hey Mycroft. Who is the Prime Minister of India? The current Prime Minister of India is Narendra Modi since 26 May 2014. Where is Baragami? Baraga is located in Baraga County, Michigan. Hey, Mycroft. What is the right now weather in Belagami? Hey Mycroft, who is the President of India? The current President of India is Ropeni Murmu since 25 July 2022. Hey Mycroft. Who won the match yesterday? I don't understand. Hey Mycroft. Who won the cricket match yesterday? I'm not sure I understood you. Hey Mycroft. Who won the India Pakistan match yesterday? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hey Mycroft, what is the current news of India? Here is the latest news from NPR News Now. Deliver a prime time address to the nation on Thursday. The White House is billing it as a major speech on the state of democracy. NPR's Kyle Snyder reports that Biden is expected to discuss what's at stake in the term elections this fall. The president will be in Philadelphia, and he's expected to deliver the speech outside the historical park that includes Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were debated and signed. The White House says he will revive the theme he ran on in 2020 and speak about the continued battle for the soul of the nation. He's expected to discuss the country's standing in the world and warn that Americans' rights and freedoms are still under attack. Last week, Biden labeled former President Donald Trump and his supporters as extreme, portrayed their ideology as semi-fascism. Voters are set to go to the polls in about two months for the November midterms. Kyle Snyder, NPR News. Police in Central Oregon have released the names of the gunman and two people he killed at a grocery store in Bend. Authorities say the shooter took his own life. From Oregon Public Broadcasting, Joni Aldenland has the story. Neighbors and former classmates identified the shooter as 20-year-old Ethan Miller of Bend. Police later confirmed his identity. 
Police identified the two victims as Glenn Edward Bennett, an 84-year-old Benton resident, and Donald Ray Surrett Jr., a 66-year-old employee at the Safeway who was shot in the produce section. Police spokesperson Sheila Miller said Surrett tried to stop the gunman. Surrett engaged with the shooter, attempted to disarm him, and may very well have prevented further deaths. Mr. Surrett acted heroically. It was terrible. The gunman's motives behind the shooting are still unknown. Police on Molotov cocktails and a shotgun in his vehicle. For NPR News, I'm Joni Auden Land, Bend, Oregon. A state of emergency has been declared in Jackson, Mississippi, where the swollen Pearl River is causing flooding. The Mississippi Public Broadcasting, Kobe Vance reports that displaced residents will not be able to return home for days. Residents in Jackson spent the weekend preparing their homes for potential flood damage. Many of them were victims of a similar but more severe flood in 2020. While many of the roads in low-lying areas became inaccessible Sunday afternoon, neighbors continued to help one another while flood waters rose. Jackson resident Sean Miller is ferrying people to and from their homes with his truck while he still can. The guys in the community trying to help everybody else who needs assistance and keeping out because we have a tight-knit community. Some people are trying to hold out in the last minute realizing that, you know, they can't hold out. More rain is on the forecast for early this week in Jackson, and meteorologists say floodwaters may not recede until Saturday or later. For NPR News, I'm Kobe Vance in Jackson. U.S. futures are higher in after hours trading on Wall Street. This is NPR News. A new study finds that more than 100